Hi, BMIS 270. Uh, this is chapter 5, 6, and 7. And uh, these um, three chapters really deal with uh, different types of information systems. So let's start with uh, uh, different types of, si of information systems. So we have, first of all, we're going to talk about types of e-commerce and m-commerce. But then we're going to take a look at these different kinds of information systems, TPS, DSS, MIS, uh, ESS, and so on and so forth. Now, it says the true potential of information systems. So this is in helping you and your coworkers make an informed decision. And that's really the goal of uh, information systems. So <coughs> I guess not the complete goal of information systems, uh, but an end goal of, of them, certainly. So in most cases, strategic planning and overall goals of the organization set the course for decision making. So what these information systems do is assist with problem solving, helping people make better decisions and save lives. Okay, and, and save lives, I guess, from a medical industry perspective. Uh, you know, really, um, with information systems, we can take uh, gather a, a lot of uh, transaction processing system sort of information. That's basic transactions, a lot of purchases. We can trend out um, buying patterns and then we can uh, make long-term decisions based upon those buying patterns as, as an example. Now this actually looks more like the systems development life cycle here on your right. Uh, and they look at it a little bit differently in this particular text. So in decision making they talk about uh, different stages of of decision making. Now you can apply developing a system uh, or or you can use and speak about developing a system and developing or decision making phases in a sort of similar way. Um, they're both dealing with problem solving. Now the intelligence stage at the beginning identifies and defines potential problems or opportunities. The design stage develops alternative solutions to the problem and evaluates their feasibility. Okay, a choice stage selects a course of action. Okay, problem solving um, is uh, actually implementation, the kind of this kind of the problem solving set, but here you have an implementation of that particular choice. And then you're going to monitor that particular choice and, and see if the feedback is um, if the if the feedback supports the decision, if it doesn't support this, the decision, you know, if uh, if not, and at various points, regardless, you know, you'll go back to the beginning again, and and make uh, new decisions. Okay, so um, that's very, and again, this picture is very synonymous with the systems development life cycle, where you're you are um, solving a problem with. Uh, for instance, antiquated machinery, hardware or software. You um, um, investigate, analyze, design, implement, and then monitor. Okay, now it talks about a little bit about electronic and mobile commerce. Uh, so this statement says, the fundamental change from paper to e-commerce has been the manner in which companies interact with their suppliers, customers, government agencies, and other businesses. And you can just look at yourself uh, in respect to this. So, you know, you're still doing the same kinds of business. Now, that now, granted, there's a lot more of it because business grows. But, you know, those same things that you were doing with paper and pen, for instance, uh, 15 years ago is now all electronic. So that's really, you know, that fundamental, that's where that fundamental change has, has occurred. Now, there's different kinds of, of uh, business models. Okay, so there's uh, business to business e-commerce and this is a useful tool for connecting business partners in the virtual supply chain to cut resupply times and reduce costs so business to business we, we see that as being B2B and then business to consumer okay uh, elim the elimination of intermediate organi organizations between the producer and the consumer and then consumer to consumer so <coughs> excuse me I'm gonna look over here business to business um, the, the the big question is which segment of e-commerce is bigger, business to business or business to consumer? You know, we really think about 
us buying a computer from Dell and, and how many people as consumers are buying things on the internet and think that that's a huge segment. So, and although not completely accurate in every situation, think about, so we buy a com one computer from Dell. Well, with business to business, how many different manufacturers has Dell contacted and worked with to actually build that computer in the first place? You have different memory, you have different microprocessors, you have different system boards, uh, you have different um, hard drives, cases, power supplies. You know, there's a there's at least a, probably um, 10 to 12 different kinds of uh, uh, manufacturers of different parts that Dell needs to work with in order to build that one computer that you can buy. So when it talks about you know which has the largest segment uh, of e-commerce, business to business, or B to C, or even C to C, um, you know that's definitely far and away business to business. You know also think about uh, the same examples in uh, auto manufacturing. So we buy one car, and but think about how many other uh, manufacturers actually supply parts to Ford or GM to actually be able to build that car. Now, in consumer to consumer, uh, that's like Craigslist, that's like eBay. Okay. Now, there's forms of e-government uh, e too. You have government to consumer, or consumer to government. You can say that either way. And I think probably um, preparing your taxes. And sending your taxes is a good example of consumer to government. Business to government, also taxes. And then government to government is usually uh, interdepartmental um, sorts of uh, uh, transactions, if you will, moving data, doing those kinds of things. So if we look at this, uh, the factors, the value of sale with B2B, thousands or millions of dollars, with B2C, tens or hundreds of dollars, and then C to C, tens of dollars. So that particular scale of the value is uh, quite a bit different. Uh, length of sales, uh, days to months, days to weeks, hours. Let's see, complexity of the buying process, extremely complex, com complex in B to B. In B to C, it's relatively simple. Think of eBay. And then in C to C, relatively simple as well. Now, the motivation, though, is important. Driven by a business decision uh, or need with B to B. B to C, driven by an individual, individual consumer's need or emotion, and then C to C, driven by an individual consumer's need or emotion. Okay. Um, now, electronic and mobile uh, commerce advantages. All right. So many B to B, B to C, B C to C, and M commerce applications are being used in retail and wholesale, manufacturing, marketing, advertising, price comparisons, investment and finance, bank and e boutiques. Um, you know. So you can see that uh, with the apps that you go ahead, that you use on a daily basis, you know which ones you use, and that there, there are, uh, you know, there's a real need for those. Okay, so the advantages though um, of this e-commerce and m-commerce is provides global reach, provides a global reach, reduced costs, speeds of flow of goods and, and information, and just think about the goods and information. Um, if we don't receive what we want now we tend to go on to the next business so it's vital for a, and uh, it's vital for a company to actually be able to um, uh, be able to provide information or products uh, in a very short time frame okay uh, increased accuracy being completely electronic and improves customer service all right um, the next piece is e-commerce and m-commerce technology infrastructure. So, with the infrastructure, it, it's uh, very much the same as as any of your network systems. Now, for this, you have web server hardware, and think about your local area network. Okay, so we're going to think about these really in parallel. Okay, so web server hardware in your local area network, you have servers uh, like Helena College, for instance, that actually runs and maintains your network. Uh, you have server operating systems that would be like server 2008. In both cases, if we were to think about that um, in parallel, now server software um, might be the server databases like MySQL, uh, Oracle, and those are used in both cases. E-commerce software, um, that, and that might be a specific point of sale system that uh, a company may be using. 
and then you have your high speed connection uh, to the network and then your internet stuff okay so um, that's really you know what that architecture really looks like or the infrastructure looks like you have the hardware you have the server OS's you have the server software again things like Apache for instance is web server software um, MySQL database and then you have some kind of special e-commerce software that may sit on top of that that provides a specific kind of interface uh, specific sort of data and then your connection out so um, the big decision though for e-commerce companies is whether to host your own site or let somebody else do it well it's it's uh, today it's probably only uh, medium and large size businesses that would actually pays to have uh, to, to go ahead and do that yourself most people it's more affordable and easier to actually have somebody else do that for you and you just basically rent the uh, rent space so it's it's way easier and, and way less expensive um, again big companies they may need to to specialize um, their particular software and services in a way that a hosting company may not be able to now uh, finally what we have uh, web server software each e-commerce website must have a web server software to perform fundamental services some of those basic services of course again is not a lot different than your um, local area network so you need security and identification retrieving and sending of web pages website tracking website development and web page development so that all relates back to the e-commerce site and web server software now e-commerce e e software Okay, so investigate and install e-commerce software to support five core tasks. Okay, so this is what the e-commerce software specifically will do. Catalog management, product configuration, shopping carts. You know, think about Amazon when we're talking about this. Catalog management, product configuration. Again, think about Amazon. Shopping carts, uh, transaction processing, and then web traffic data analysis. So, and that's important because that provides details to adjust the operations of, uh, of the website. So, uh, you know, once again, with this e-commerce software specifically, think about the Amazon site makes a great example um, of that. So, I think that that is the closing of uh, part one, and I'll have part two uh, for you next. And we'll talk about more specifically TPS and and uh, MIS and so on and so forth.